Hello, my name is Clemens Thielmann. In this video, I want to show you how to enable and disable web caching in the SAP Commerce Cloud portal. Web caching is a mechanism for storing copies of files in a cache so that the cached content can be accessed quickly. In that way, you can improve the performance of your commerce website and avoid the latency associated with the steady loading of web documents from a source server. First, log into the Commerce Cloud portal using either a Customer System Administrator or Customer Developer role. Then, navigate to the Environments page and select the environment for which you wish to enable web caching. Here, you can see the details of your environment, including its status, build version, public endpoints and other settings. Take your time to explore these options. Since we are going to enable web caching, select an endpoint from the Endpoints panel by clicking on it. For example, you can pick one of your storefront endpoints. Now scroll down to the caching section and click on the slide button on the right. A set of configuration tabs appears. The default expire and max expire boxes are automatically populated sequentially with values of 660 seconds. This configuration forces the cache to be cleared every 10 minutes, so it is essential to extend the time frame to at least an hour. Next, in the Add Path field, Enter the URL you want to cache and click on the plus button. You will now see the URL added under the Active Paths section. You can add as many paths as you need. Once finished, scroll to the top of the screen and click Save to save your configuration. If you want to remove a specific URL from web caching, on the same Edit Endpoint page, click on the X icon next to the path. The rest of the URLs will stay untouched. To entirely disable the web caching applied to your storefront endpoint, Click on the blue slide button next to the caching header and confirm the changes by clicking the save button at the top of the page. That wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.